Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign. I decided to uh, go with the next Guerrilla Ops mission, Operation Wailing Terror, where we're trying to hack a, a workstation and at the end getting intel, which is okay-ish, but mainly I am um, highly worried about that hidden event. Could be anything. That, on the other hand, means we're potentially going to deal with Vigilance, which is a nasty event. Not the end of the world, because we're uh, oftentimes uh, starting without concealment anyway, so it's okay-ish. But it will make it more difficult for us to basically scout in. And I mentioned it at the beginning of the last video. I made the decision that the main team... Uh, keeps its equipment, which also means equipment is now sort of bound to an individual soldier. I needed to build a second uh, nanomed kit, uh, so Hunk essentially has one. And you can see, uh, if you already look at the weapons, that the sort of primary weapons stay with the main team for the time being. And I needed to upgrade a lot of those second class weapons. We're going to go in with Lockdown as a sniper, incendiary rounds for a little bit more damage on the weapon, um, a smoke bomb. Uh, we uh, do have uh, a second set of tracer rounds, which is good, uh, so that Toxic at least has an option to, to hit with his gun. Jeranks will go in with an incendiary grenade, which is an interesting option. It will at least shred a tiny bit. I was considering to build a second flashbang, and maybe we should do that. But on the other hand, it's called choose to lose, so let's not go with the flashbang, that would be my normal course of action. Let's actually go with an incendiary grenade and hope uh, that things will work out. We know that losses are here. Hmm, I'm wondering. Maybe we're going with the ultrasonic lure again? So let me let me think about that. Hunk is in the background anyways, might as well give him the ultrasonic lure. And uh, Jeranks will take a nanomed kit. Yeah, we don't have the axe, we don't have the frost uh, bomb. The bolt launcher is on our other uh, support, so that is not available for Hunk. And as always... Uh, the second mech does not have its uh, heavy weapon because we cannot allow for duplicates so only the uh, the prime mech primus will have uh, the rocket launcher good we just landed high alert no one except Durangs has cover and we got ourselves an elite wrecker that guy has a heavy weapon Wrecking rifle. Holy shit, okay. Doesn't look like much from here. But yeah, that that could uh, deal a lot of damage. I I assume it also shreds quite well. Understood. Moving out. Drangs moves up. Nothing. Moves up further. Enemy squad located. There's the first squad. Okay, cool. Moving up. And we triggered them, which is fine, not the end of the world. I was hoping to not trigger them, but it's okay. It is okay. It's a okay. So. Let's move up. And let's remove their cover. Eh, let's not remove Jereng's cover. That would not be advisable. Fire in the hole. Nice little start. It's good. Oh, a lost swarm is going to come. I like 
the sound of that. Good, starting to move up. Seeing a shot onto that purifier. Good, good, good. It's shredded. Hunk could move up into the open. position ourselves over here sure thing. that allows us to hopefully kill that elite purifier good the, the loss are soon going to join we unfortunately need to overdrive didn't want to do it but i want to kill this guy There's one. And that's the kill. Good. How many of you have out of ammo? So the big problem that I'm being with that codex is is we're being nicely clustered up so it will cost us quite some time because there's going to be a sonic bomb right here we would need to move away but in the grand scheme of things it is still better to do that than to split the codex and we're dealing with the Chosen on top of it, the Warlock. Huh. Gods elevate me. Regeneration, chance to return fire, can summon uh, bestial allies and overwatches. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. We do have, if I'm not mistaken, we do have a lure with us. So the moment that losses are going to show up, we might keep him busy. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. Swarm is really close. My power precedes me wherever I go. Again, moving up. Trying to hunt down that codex. It fall down. It fell down, took damage, but apparently did not um, replicate. Heading out. Hostiles making rounds. Okay, gotta be careful. Of course, we don't want more problems. There's a good chance that we might kill it. This weapon requires ammunition to function. Okay, there is of course also a chance that it just moves away. Could use a grenade to kill it. That, however, would draw in the losts. Do we want to do that? I'd like to keep the grenade if possible.
Hey, we do have a stop, right? Yeah, we do have a stop. Okay. This is not the nicest play, but it is a nice mul uh, manipulation of line of sight. We've positioned ourselves in a moderately attractive position at the same time. I feel that it was worth it overall. No high ground anywhere. Could position ourselves here. Difficult to flank as a position. Or we're just simply moving to here. I think that's a safer bet. There's a high chance that the Lost will spawn, run into us, scout us out, those guys uh, will see us, and then it's on. Or they're just running into us normally. And of course, back to zombies. How could I forget about those lovely beings? Oh, there we go. So much for our scout. Jeranks has been nicely spotted out. At least he kills one right off the bat. Nice little ambush kill there. And this is Spectral Rupture. Yeah. Complete and utter surprise. Who would have guessed that that would happen? Could move up and skull check the guy. Could do the same up here. I think that's actually not a bad play. I think we've triggered another another set of enemies. Maybe something from over here. No, something from up there. Okay, triple sector. Okay. Well, let's start with the obvious situation. Give me a minute. That whole setup here stinks. Could move up and just strike those guys. Desperately looking for high ground, but the one available is a bit out of range. Can't use the rocket launcher, can use his rocket launcher though. Okay. Gotta move away from here as the spectral rupture will eventually explode. We can remove cover. With bombardment which wouldn't be the worst idea I guess this unit is relatively moving up and uh, this actually should remove cover we go moving up a bit closer and mainly away from the spectral rupture which is important 
seven to nine and we're looking at two four six eight let's try to chain shot nah, didn't work out too greedy chain shot would have been good if we would have hit this guy five to eight points of damage don't want to take any chances here overdriving time to get rid of the spectral rupture first so that zombie needs to go and then shredding the officer good hit very good hit that zombie needs to go as well Offering him as a target. Fantastic. We're currently in half cover, might as well make it full cover. Anyone with grenades? Sectors normally don't have those. Very good. Good, Those without faith, good. They can either run or they can do something. That is movement, so nothing from the elite specter. Well, it's not a problem that he. Uh, resisted mind control we can deal with the reanimation and that stung quite a bit sabotaging the weapon we do have an auto loader so we should be fine reinforcements just to make the scenery a tiny bit more aggressive than it had been already. Good. This here should teach the sector a good lesson. There we go. Fantastic, that's a two for one. Moving up and into a good position for a potential drop of reinforcements. That elite spectre, we got to deal with him. Auto reload. No, nah, uh, it was not an auto reload. This could be a one shot for the sector. I think we're trying to go for exactly that. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Want to be careful here. Punk has already taken some damage. I think the specter needs to die next, so let's mark him. Even though we did not hit, we removed the cover and marked it, which is exactly what you want.
90 plus percent and a nice little crit elite wrecker moves up let's try to hit him yeah when they are marked uh, we can hit them quite well This here would be too dangerous in order to move up. On the move. And that might be a kill. Nope. 90% shot missed. Very unfortunate. We're getting into full cover. Uh, Comet Protocol can't hit. That is really unfortunate. All right, we're overwatching. Pretty sure we had line of sight, but okay. It is what it is. Can't discuss uh, with the XCOM engine from time to time. We kill them and yet here they are again. For what? Not a single Overwatch, really. I promise you the first time that anyone moves we're going to we're, we're immediately going to see how there is an overwatch from hunk got five more turns we're eventually getting closer and closer grenade is too far away we're certainly not going to fire at hunk we're moving up is that going to trigger the warlock that's the big question i suppose and there might be another pack so we could move up into flanking position but that would be risky 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 can't see anyone And charge in so as much as it sucks um, this might be the best play that we have triggering overwatch of course removing the cover and spawning the lost I was hoping we would spawn lost, apparently we're not. Let's kill the sector. Good, mind control gone. Could kill the spectre. that I'm asking myself is shall we save the rocket launcher or use it potentially use it
but Stun Lancer is nasty and we got to deal with it. Plus, we still have a blinking target over here. So, a couple of options to deal with them. Moving a bit further away, mainly because I don't want to be hit by all of them. And this here should open a free line of sight. Moving into full cover into the close proximity range. And let's get this guy down. Wow, they are sturdy. Holy shit. We could use acid grenades. Problem with those bad boys is they they uh, typically are used for shredding. That specter. Am I going to regret letting it live? Is the question. Sun Lancer is the highest priority without a shadow of a doubt. Target neutralized. Can we currently reach that spectre? Potentially not. The best way of uh, actually reaching it is charging in and slashing it, which I think we're going to do. What's over there? Moving into a better position. And we still got two of them left over. So what we could do is we could suppress him. Can't kill him anyways. Well, we have 40% chance to crit. But yeah, the crit wouldn't be enough to kill him. But we can suppress that way. That way he has um, an aim penalty. Stinks, but it is what it is. It was uh, foreseeable, but we couldn't have broken the mind control. More spectral zombies just to make this here an absolute slugfest. And, and at least from my perspective, the main challenge that we're having is too many hit points to chew through for us to, to do that uh, successfully and also get the mission objective, right? Can't yet... Uh, can't yet uh, stay there. Not get onto high ground from there. This, however, should be a nice little kill. Spectral zombie ruptures. Half down. 
And that deals enough damage to soften it up. We have a free reload. Hot loader, yes, we do. Let's kill that other zombie. So far, we're doing good. Terminated. All three of them are gone. And now it's time... ...to actually deal with them. This should not trigger anything else. Good. Over uh, drive. Never Trying to. Uh, we need to be hit point efficient. I.e., deal with. Uh, that guy first. Sixty-eight percent. It's not not really good odds. Fifty-one percent. Not great either. Potentially can't kill both uh, during this turn. I got nothing. Guns try. Okay. Almost done for a reload. Eight protocol. Wait a second. Yeah, well, that's a hundred percent kill. A protocol onto Primos. And we got Outloader stock. No, we got Hair Trigger stock. Well, that's still good enough. Let's go. Did you see that one? Alright, shield is removed. potentially will um, take a weapon away again yeah well we were out of ammunition with that guy uh, with hung anyways so that really accomplished nothing into flanking position and maybe we can kill him. Cool. Will the death of this one change anything? I'll need to reload. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Three more turns. And okay. we're eventually just rushing through that map in order to get to the objective. Ready to rock. Wow, we were completely out of any form of ammunition. But moving over there, I'm hoping that I'll get into a position next turn where we can hack from range. Again, reloading, moving up. We have a super bad position here. I don't like it at all. Moving on target location. Overwatch. Good. The warlock is back there. Don't want to trigger him. 
Did that trigger him? Who knows? It might. Yeah, it potentially has triggered him. We've got the chosen right where yeah, we it triggered want him. him. It's time to strike. Well, as always, more hit points to chew through. Well, for one, ultrasonic lure can't throw it if we're not up there. Seems doable. So I'm banking a bit on the fact that this here will trigger a swarm of losts. It did not, which is unfortunate. Kill zone, we're potentially too far away. Uh, squad side minus 10 means they are not even going to rush into us. has stopped the timer so timer is really not the biggest concern that we do have at this point can we somehow well we first of all need to stop the Overwatch. Preparing my weapon. We first of all need to stop the Overwatch 50-50 and he could take a shot back. Of course don't want that. We could move and suppress him. That means no Overwatch, but it certainly does not mean that he can't shoot back. Time for overdrive. This will trigger overwatch. But the mech should have plenty of armor. Good. We got him exactly where we want him, so... We're going to use that at the end of our turn. In the meantime, what is the plan, guys? Let's start with uh, chewing through the hit points that he so nicely has presented to us. guy is burning Moving to position. if we were to throw an incendiary grenade wouldn't hurt anyone the burning should actually almost kill him sure if we need to continue attacking it Primus can move up here I double check that for you? Toxic can't move all the way up there Yeah maybe 
maybe we're not having the action economy to actually get to the warlock yet. And that will not work. Can't hack it. I was low-key hoping the lure would actually um, get out all of the loss, but it did not. So he's burning, which I think they are taking damage first before they are regenerating. They are taking damage first before they are regenerating. But I don't want to take that risk. It would be a nice experiment to find out, but like I said. No point in trying that right uh, right now. Instead, let's shred uh, the warlock. He regenerates most of the hit points that uh, that we damaged. Wow. Okay, spectral army. He's still not done with with uh, summoning, and yet again, more hit points on the field. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Let us see the grand strategies of XCOM's fabled commander. Good, moving in. We do not need to... We do not need to... spread them further. What we can do is we can... use that grenade. Why would it damage friendlies? Is it damage? Oh yeah, it's damaging the computer down there. Nope. Well, F it. That is really unfortunate. Can't really move up. Still two more turns until we get more actions and can we somehow do something meaningful here with a sniper I would love to get on the rooftop the grappling hook would be so awesome right now but apparently that is not possible I hate to do it but might need to move back. We need high ground. What we could do is we could move around and then next turn like come up and try to shoot. But that's a long, oh, that's a very long play. Don't like it. Move all the way up to here. But that still does not give us vision. Neither does this side. Yeah, the sniper is in a, in a poor position. The way that the entire the entire map has developed, it's quite unexpected to see that. Okay, so we have no more explosives. We gotta deal with those guys first. How is that even dealing damage to anything below? Okay, it's not. Fantastic. So the original plan seems to work. 
which is dealing five points of damage. Are they immune? Yeah, they seem to be immune. How much is... Uh, the incendiary grenade does not really deal enough damage. I was hoping that, that with the incendiary grenade we would um, be able to kill both of them with both of the grenades, essentially. That seems to be not working out. Another problem is we put ourselves in a spot where any movement is acidic. It was a an interesting idea on paper. In reality, it is not that great. But if we let one of these guys live the chosen cannot cannot act which would be good Dranks can move all the way up to there so that next turn we can deal with the chosen lockdown move up to here so that we can also deal with the chosen in the next turn and hunk moves up and just gives an aid protocol to primos who's the most likely to get stabbed And yeah, a single shot or a single step uh, from the Stun Lancer, even if it dazes us for three rounds, is still easier to deal with compared to um, compared to what the Chosen would have done to us. Moving up, and there's potentially allows us to grab the loot and also kill this guy does that end the days no it does not hair trigger allows us however to revive toxic fantastic great okay so so far so good Primos moves over. There is another pack down here. I just saw that. There is another pack down here. We gotta be careful. Beginning to hit. And he's burning. That would be good. Come on, crit. Your time will come 16 points of damage. Okay. Hate to do it, but we're going to take Move some damage here. Nice. He might even die. <laughs> no, the regeneration happened before. Before the um, before the guy can be uh, could be punished. Is 
It's using spectral zombies again. Oh my lord. This guy is summoning as if there is no tomorrow. Jumping down. Let's give him hell. That was an, a challenging fight, specifically since we did not have our extras with us. Warlock has been defeated. Interestingly enough, all of the zombies except the spectral one. Disappeared. Getting into the position where we want to hack. And finishing that one off for good. You know what? Let's try to get a research reduction. Almost. That would have given us like five days worth of research. Or six days. Moving back. <laughs> now I now I do understand why they did not immediately uh, force them to disappear because that explosion would have put everything uh, every one of our soldiers into a really poor position. Good. What else could we get if we were to hack? I think it was free run and gun, right? Okay, we're getting free run and gun. Because why not? Fantastic. Well, Hit the armor. this whole mission just keeps on giving. But it feels like a, uh, like the type of slog fest that I was hoping we would get. Very good. Overwatch removed. 88% can't get through the armor yet. Okay, moving up here. The other side is unfortunately still tainted. Um, can't really get there. Yeah, let's do combat protocol. Finish the mech. There we go. That's right. 
Dranks moves up, and this might be a one-shot kill. Shotgun to the face. Never fails to amaze. Wow. Okay, yeah, that mission was a banger. I like it. Gritty, hard, really a lot of enemies, and, well, we even lost a, uh, one of our XCOM, well, double agents, so to speak. Four of our soldiers are wounded, and we were out of ammunition at some point, just con continuously fighting. I like it. That was a good mission. Here we go. Got a promotion for that new spark. We're going to go for Bulwark again. And it's slowly but surely going to ramp up. You can see we're having problems with repairing them. Jaranx, on the other hand, gets the recon seal. Not bad. Hello, Commander. And rural checkpoints. Well, that wouldn't have been too bad. It's doubling the recruitment costs for new recruits. That wouldn't have been too bad, but you never know what a hidden dark event could look like. Good. We wanted to Avenger, continue with Alois and essentially starting yeah, to get Elarium and Alois. You may this minor effort. Risk of capture on all missions. Well, that stinks. We could start exeminating and researching here, but we're not going to do that. Powered armor is more important at this point in the game. Good. All negative traits removed from Mike Bravo. That's good. Do we still have someone? No, we don't. And there we go. Light armor. Fantastic. Do we have another promotion here? One that is fast. No. No promotions in this case. But we have a little bit of dodge plus five. Two more days. So we need something else. 10 days, 7 days, 8 days, 8 plus 4 is not too bad, 8 plus 4 is not too bad, not bad at all, and that's like what, we're looking at 7 days tired Jessica Jones, and we wanted to wait until she's back in action, 8 days here, I mean, eight days from now, we can do that. And then we're invading the stronghold. Also gives us some more time uh, during which Primus is being repaired. Do we want to do that or do we just want to go in in two days? No, I think it's better to go that way no wait a second capture uh, -uh that's that's not happening facility lead Supplies versus not getting captured. I think that it, this is okay. In which case, we're not doing anything like super out of the ordinary. We're just putting those two on a mission. There is a chance for an ambush. That's okay. There is a chance for being wounded. That's okay. But capturing, uh -uh, that's not okay. Getting that extra facility lead isn't bad either, so in two days 
we are theoretically ready to invade. Good, now the core question is... Do we want to invade now? We got... Or do we want to wait five days until Jessica is fully recovered? We can get another armor. Stasis Vest isn't too bad. In the absence of a healing option, Stasis Vest is actually quite good. I am wondering though... Commander? Let's double check. We want to repair our main spark first. It's creepy hearing the Chosen talk as if they were just like us. For all... Strategic resource located. Perfect. Okay, so now we would have the Alarium, but not the supplies. Two more days until we get the supplies, then we upgrade the weapon, and I think then we can uh, give it a go. So Intel is good. Might as well continue making contact. For Sector 14, East Asia. And there we go. That's the end of the month. Yeah, we're going to definitely shoot her down. That's okay. Income is fine as well. And we slowly but surely need to start dealing with that lost. Okay, we still got Vigilance, which we could counter. This one here is not too bad. And Hidden Event might be bad but vigilance is the one that i would like to counter for us, my reapers are up for taking on some additional orders good i like uh, between the eyes super strong and given that we see a lot of um, loss in most of the missions that will help us immensely we also just uh, got a huge influx of currency. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. So let's see what we can upgrade. Beam cannon would be the obvious choice here. All right, going for that. Beam pistol. Our shadow keeper would be another kind of no-brainer. The melee weapon upgrades could be good, but we're short on alloys, so might as well do that. And we can't even go for the beam pistol, but maybe we can purchase some alloys. Who knows? Powered armor in four days. We could also save some money and just do the powered armor, but... We're now going for the black market and then we're invading. Avenger no more time to waste. I don't want to be shut down by the assassin. Now's the time to act. Market is open. What can we theoretically buy? We could buy alien alloys for 40 uh, intel. That's a no-brainer. Let's go for it. Superior speed, superior perception. And a major specialist. Hmm. I mean, having an extra specialist is certainly attractive. Superior perception is certainly attractive as well. Superior Expanded Magazine is attractive as well. Do I want to go all out and just purchase like mad? We're definitely taking the Specialist because getting a Major for free is fantastic. Uh, we're not in a rush to expand further, so... 
that superior perception is fantastic as well. Superior agility is good, but I think I'm going for that superior magazine. Good. So, a few things that we would need to do. Number one, we got a major up um, here and we got to promote him. Comet protocol into haywire protocol into scanning protocol into covering fire into ever vigilant. He also comes with 20 AP. So we might find something meaningful with that guy. Good. In terms of in terms of PCSs, we could give her plus fifteen aim, which might not be the worst idea. She would still be in one shot range, though. Like, hmm, we do have plus one health on that specific suit so it's a net minus two we're at 12 hit points with that whole setup if she levels i think she gets another hit point so we're at 13 that's not a lot uh, that is still one shot territory nah i don't want to lose a high level soldier specifically not one that we've invested so much into it i think we're okay uh, with the um, aim we can compensate it differently. So lockdown on the other hand has definitely an option for superior perception. She does not carry around uh, the, um, the unique pistol. And here we do have 23 dodge versus 22 dodge. Okay, yeah, we're taking 23 dodge. That gives us ever so slightly plus one dodge. Fantastic. And having another ranger, Zirkim here. Let's make sure he also has as much dodge as possible. Good. That worked out well. Now S4, wait a second for the superior expanded magazine. Uh, since we do not have hunter protocol, I rather go with the advanced autoloader because uh, that allows us to free reload in some of the cases. Question is, with her weapon upgrade, oh, she has an automatic weapon. Well, it will not matter. But for lockdown, weapon upgrade, instead of an autoloader, superior expanded magazine might make more sense that means we have seven shots in the kill zone if we ever set it up that uh, could be a pretty nice overwatch she's super fragile though okay so last uh, thing let's do the training our new specialist comes with 20 points and we could take Implaceable, which I think is a decent choice. I'm not going to take anything else. Our main team, Volatile Mix, potentially not uh, needed. We've almost upgraded all of uh, them. Jessica Rabbit, we still don't know what the last ability is, so we're going to save that for her last ability. And then the next person who we can invest is Sandman. There are still a couple of good things that we could get out of him. Okay, I think we're ready, uh, guys. This was a pretty long episode, lots of management. I think we're ready to rumble and eventually invade uh, the Chosen Stronghold. The question is, 
wait it shall we wait the four days for powered armor or shall we already go and i think we're already going it's uh, elsewise it'll just take more uh, more and more time so now is as good as ever we do have upgraded weapons and i feel that we're um pretty much ready to uh, to take her on with the prime team we should be good to go uh, so the next mission will be uh, fighting against the chosen and hopefully killing her which if we're successful will uh, yield us rashi and uh, the katana both of uh, which would be excellent weapons for quick uh, feed it would make him an absolute boss uh, to to deal with and it frees up the double x the twin axes which we can hand down to I, I think Zirkim or whoever the second uh, ranger is so it would free up some equipment that we could uh, use this way thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the content leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next run bye bye